It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Okay, remember, I don't know, do you remember when, like, Dane Cook became, like, a punchline? Like, Dane Cook was this incredibly successful comedian, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. he sought out the garden, he was the first person to really use the internet yeah. in a way to, like, promote himself, and then, like... Sometimes what happens with guys is like they just become uncool and they become like a punchline. Like it was in fucking Will Ferrell movie. Dane, Dane seemed like the type of person who was like the first internet comic that nobody respected. Yes, yes, yes. And and it was, and it was, I think it was kind of unfair. But again, it might have been a similar Deontay Wilder situation where it's like, oh wow, like you you can't wait to tear a guy down. And then when he does come down, it's a lot of fun and everybody went at him. I agree with you because I didn't even realize Dane Cook was that pop until people started shitting on him. <laughs> I'm not even lying. But it became this thing that was like fun and okay to shit on yeah. or whatever, right? He was on SNL? No, no, he wasn't. Oh, okay, got you guys. And I feel like SNL is almost becoming the new version of that where it's like, I've, I've yet to see or hear anybody say anything complimentary about SNL. SNL is, is I'm going to tell you what SNL is. SNL is like uh, American Idol. Um, remember, remember how big American Idol was? Yeah. The reason American Idol was so big is because American Idol was actually producing stars. There was a period ah. in SNL where they weren't produced. We, we were used to them churning out stars. Eddie yeah. Murphy, Will Ferrell, fucking uh, Maya Rudolph. Is that her name? My real, it's just mad people came from SNL. Adam Sandler. Yeah, yeah, Maya Rudolph. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. There was yeah. a time where yeah. all of that was... Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase. Bill Murray. Bill Murray. That's yeah. what I mean. Like, there was a period where they weren't doing that no more. It was like college for being a star. Yeah. You went there, yeah, you put yeah, your time yeah. in, and then you were a fucking mm -hmm. superstar after mm -hmm. that. And then you're saying that stopped. It stopped. And then once that stopped... And I'm not going to say it stopped completely, but it wasn't as... As, 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 as lucrative as it once was. There was yeah. a point where they was just like, whoa, this, this, the, this is the fucking Bro, farmhouse for fucking superstars. It's just so weird. Like, because I know I have friends who work on a show who are fucking funny and talented and then, and I don't watch it so I can't tell you that it's horrible. But... I have yet to I meet tell somebody. You it's trash. It's, is it that bad? <laughs> like I, literally, I try to defend it. I'm like, bro, it can't be that fast. I, I know funny people nah. to work on the show, but literally any person you meet, it's like they're like, oh yeah, SNL is horrible. It's unwatchable, and it's like, but how can it be that bad? I watch SNL because I have people on SNL. Like Peter's our guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I like Michael Che. I don't Michael I, Che. I, I don't hilarious. know him personally, but I like him. You know what I'm hilarious. saying? Hilarious. I like I like Chris. You know, I like uh, Leslie when I she was Colin on there. I love Colin Jost, man. Good. I, I like I like Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Chad. Like I, I, so I watch it. I like Pete. I watch the show. Yeah, but it's garbage. And and and, 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 I mean, and, and I try to defend, but I don't, I can't defend because I don't watch it. I but watch I also it a lot. can't shit on it because I don't watch no. it. I just see a sketch every once in a while no, on YouTube. And yo, sometimes the sketches are funny. I see like the the debate sketches hilarious. Yeah, that like, shit. The debate when for whatever reason when they in a political bag. It's all right. That shit has been really good. The casting is good. With the Black they... Jeopardy one? But that was a special episode. See, to me, those are special episodes. Okay. Because Black Jeopardy was fucking, um, who was that? That was Eddie Murphy, right? No. Chadwick Boseman. No, Black Jeopardy was... Um... I think it was Chadwick Boseman. I think it was Chadwick Boseman. I mean, this is bad that I mean, we they, can't they, remember. They, they've done it a few times. So yeah. I, I think Eddie might have done one with Black Jeopardy. I know Chadwick Boseman did one. but And that's another thing, right? Yeah. SNL over the year, has they, they, their hosts have gotten a lot more diverse. So right. I found myself watching it. I watched it when Chadwick Boseman hosted. I watched when I actually went when Tiffany had hosted. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the oh, one the that exploded thing. was okay. the Tom gotcha. Hanks one, right? Because that was the one where they basically showcased like, oh, the, the real conservative right-wing people Got like you, got you, got real you. conservative right wing whites yeah. and like southern blacks actually liked all the same shit. Yeah. Like I like my women thicker. I like you know cornbread and whatever. Like they, it was a really yeah, interesting yeah, 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 yeah. when you take these these two groups you think we have nothing in common. Yeah. You realize oh shit they got everything in common. It was yeah. like really brilliant. I, I and I guess maybe it's hard to recreate one of those every week or something. But it's just such a weird time in comedy when like you never hear this sentence. Man, I just love SNL. <laughs> yeah, isn't that a Listen, weird time I, in comedy? I, like, can, I can play white devil's advocate, right? All right, go. 
And I can say the reason SNL sucks is because it's just simply too hard to do sketch nowadays because nothing beats this fucking shit you see on your phone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing beats those real life stupid ass shit you see on your phone. Like the dumb shit we just turn on and laugh at that's happening yeah. in real life. Yeah. You can't duplicate that shit. Back Bro, in the day, sketch is all we had. Dog, a podcast. You okay. gonna laugh more times listening to a podcast then you will watch an SNL. Do you? I don't watch it, so I don't. It's is that the case, bro? SNL sucks, bro. I can tell you, like, like Eddie Murphy. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie Murphy was good on SNL because Eddie Murphy is Eddie Murphy, right? Um, and you can tell. And by the way, level of talent too. I'm gonna tell you why because you can see how a level of talent can elevate something. So what? Ooh, this is interesting. So when the level of talent, are, are you saying that they don't have the level of talent necessary to pull off the show? I guess I am because you know mm. when I talk about how. They're not producing the stars they once did, right? That's true. So if they're not producing the stars you once did, then the level of talent just ain't, it's not there. Like, yo, it's certain people that pop on screen. Like, Michael mm -hmm. Che to me pops on screen. I love Michael Che. I right. think Michael Che and Colin Jobs Weekend Update should be a whole other show. Interesting. Just a whole other 30 minute show. I think they tried to do that at one point, but that should, to me, that should be just a whole other show right. that they do. They could compete with Trevor Noah and The Daily Show, or whatever. Like, I think. It's, it's, it's I don't that think, good. I don't think it does Mike justice. I think Mike's like a really brilliant comedic They mind. should be on cable. That weekend update uh, show with Colin and Michael should be on cable, and they should just be uh, going. I, don't, I think I don't think it does justice to Mike. He, that kid is fucking a comedic genius, yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. doing like one liners. Like so, a, a, like anytime you got to watch his stand up to yeah. know how good he is. Yeah. He's doing one liners because that's what the role of the show, of of that it weekend update thing is. But if you watch his stand up, stand up, yeah. it's fucking great. But it, it, it pains me because I'm looking at them like, oh, this is what people think you do on stage probably. No, I they got you. They think you just you. do one-liners. I got you. When like, your comedy's way more dynamic. I got you. Know? you. I got to shoot out. I got to shout out Chris though. I think Chris is good. I think Keenan is good. And I'm not just naming all black people. I just really think that. Right. I, re I really think he, at Sketch, I think Keenan is great. Yo, Keenan's been killing it, man. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? For he's, 19 years. Yeah, he's been killing it. And hasn't gained a pound. But hasn't lost one either. Hasn't lost He's, one either. <laughs> he has remained medium fat for, for a long 19 time. years, you gotta get, bro. Yo, you got to give him props on that, yo. yo. That, he's like you know a how hard it is to be medium fat? Dude, that is amazing. For people to look at you and be like, you're one burger away. You need to slow down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you yeah. never eat that one burger. One burger takes away. Takes discipline. Either way. You're one burger away yeah. from being slim and trim. Yeah, yes. Yo, you would think yes. one year and 19 years, you would go, yo, I'm going to get fit. Yes. Or one year you go, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. No. Keenan has been going back and forth with, I don't give a fit fuck. For <laughs> fucking 19, 19 years, years bro. You got sweat pant body. 19 years, man. 19 years. Dude, he needs an accolade. He does. His metabolism does. figured out what he is. Yes. Like his metabolism. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe he eats to that. Because you know you can go to these dietitians and they'll tell you exactly what to eat that's good for your body. And yeah, yeah. Maybe he eats for his size. So Keenan's just <laughs> asked his doctor, how do I look almost like shit? <laughs> I don't want to look like shit I want to look almost like shit How do we do that? How do I look just good enough? Salute to Keenan Keenan is like Look, 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 look I just want to be fit enough to be in shape But fat enough to play Charles Barkley All right. Yo, what if he's just committed to the roles? If he gets too skinny He might not be able to wow. play these certain people Wow Yo, we got to no, really real, salute man. Keenan, Shout bro. out to Keenan Thompson, man. It's very, very impressive that you won Burger away and never got there and you were the star of Good Burger. You know how hard it is to Burger. not want to eat a fucking hamburger when you're the star of Good Burger? Burgers must Who not have been the that star good. Of good Burger? Who, Cal? Oh, yeah. Keenan and Cal! It was both They were a duo! I know, but don't make it just seem like Keenan was on. I see he's one of the stars. He was a star. Keenan and Kel. Damn, yo. Red. Yeah, damn, Very, yo. Very yo, you get, yeah, your yeah, decision yeah, making is yeah. fucked up when you're on your period, yo. You know, we talking about breakups. Real talk, Come man. On, right? on my period, I said. You're I'm about to, I think it might be here. Yo, don't talk about period. That's a lot of my ketchup burgers, on that burger. Yeah, what? Up, don't do that, yo. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you brought up your period. We talk about burgers and you start talking about period, yo. Don't tell us how you keep your men in Philly by putting a little period blood in their food. We won't hear that what? shit, Taylor. Yeah, so That's crazy. What's wrong with you?